Game development is one of the most interesting careers you can get into, especially if you have been gaming for a large part of your life. Due to the meteoric rise of game development content on YouTube, there is a whole new generation of kids and young adults who are interested in learning how to make their own games. There is one relatively large hurdle though, starting. The hardest part of being a new game developer is first learning how to use the tools around you, whether it's understanding how to use your first IDE like Visual Studio, learning the engines like Unity and Unreal, or getting into 3D visualization software so you can make your own 3D models. In this video, I'll be going over how you can start your own journey into game development, the process of learning these tools, and the correct way to manage your workflow in developing your first couple of prototypes. Another thing I'd like to mention is any software or tutorials in this video are completely free and I will link all of them in the description below. With that said, drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and let's get right into it. So the first major decision you have to make is choosing the engine you want to develop in. When it comes to free game development engines, there are three major competitors to choose from. Unity, Unreal Engine, or Godot. There are also smaller, more simplified game engines like Game Maker Studio and Scratch, but those aren't really used for actually developing and publishing a full game. They're more of a pushing off point towards full-blown game engines. I'm gonna quickly go over the three game engines and their pros and cons for development. First up is Unity. Unity has a very simplified interface that makes it much easier for first-time users to understand what's going on inside the scene. It also has arguably the largest amount of YouTube tutorials made for it than any other engine. It is extremely documented and you'll be able to find a solution to almost any problem you have with the engine. A negative that I will have to bring up is that Unity is primarily a non-visual scripting engine, meaning that you will be writing actual code for your game and that can make it much more complex and have a higher barrier of entry for beginners. Next up is Unreal Engine. Unreal's largest positive is that it has one of the most robust visual scripting systems of any other game engine. You can create almost anything with this system and won't be held back if you don't know any actual programming languages. A negative I am going to have to give Unreal is that the engine itself is quite bloated. There are tons of different sub-menus and editing modes that make it quite overwhelming to a new user. Finally is Godot. Godot also has a pretty decent visual scripting system that is much more user-friendly towards new developers. Godot is supposed to be more of a learning engine than the other two, so it's very geared towards new users, making it an amazing engine for first couple of projects. A large negative that I have to give is that Godot is a much newer and much less popular engine than Unity or Unreal, making finding good tutorials for exactly what you need a much harder process. With all of that said, the engine I'm going to use as an example for the rest of the video is Unity. Obviously, you don't have to choose the same exact engine as me. All three work great for learning, and this isn't exactly supposed to be a tutorial video where you follow my steps exactly. This is more of me laying out how to learn for yourself and find the resources you need to start developing. Finally, getting into actually developing the game, or a prototype at least. A large chunk of new developers are extremely interested in making shooter games. Whether it be third person or first person, they like the idea of being able to use a gun against enemies. So I thought I'd show you guys my thought process behind how I would make my first shooter. After getting Unity set up, I would create a new 3D project. Then I would go to YouTube and try to find a character controller tutorial that would suit my needs for my first prototype. Remember, this is your first game. Keep it simple. Don't confuse yourself with complex mechanics like jetpacks and double jumps. Simply walking, running, jumping, that kind of thing. Brackies makes an incredibly simplified tutorial about first person character controllers and that is what I will use for my first shooter. Moving on from my character controller, I wanted the actual shooting component for my game. Keeping on with the Brackies train, because to be completely honest, I will simp from any day. I love you, Brackies. He has another amazing tutorial where he shows you how to set up shooting with Raycast, and even goes in depth on things like adding damage, particle effects, and physics simulations. Once I get both of those done, I want to focus on setting up the scene itself. Remember, this is our first ever Unity project. It doesn't have to be complex or look good in the slightest. The idea I had was have a small single level firing range that demonstrates the two mechanics I added, the movement controller and the guns. As I would not want to overwhelm myself with trying to learn Blender, I will simply just use cubes, beans, cylinders, and a prototyping texture pack I got from the Unity store instead of any actual 3D models for the scene. It'll make it much faster to lay out a quick prototype and make any necessary changes. And, you know, that's pretty much it. If I wanted to make it a little more complex, I could add sound effects and maybe start and pause menu, but for a first project, something like this is completely acceptable. The most important thing is that you don't dive into complex mechanics before you're ready. Get the basics down first, and then slowly progress and learn. There's no point in trying to make a crazy game for your first project and then getting immediately burnt out and not wanting to develop anymore. Pace yourself and learn things slowly. That is the best way to actually absorb the knowledge you're learning. That'll wrap up the majority of what I wanted to cover in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and good night.